What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Daedric War Celebration event, which starts this Thursday, January the 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern and runs until February the 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern. You will need access to Morrowind, Clockwork City, or the Somerset Chapter or DLC, which is all available in ESO Plus, or you can purchase these individually from the store. Once you have access to these, you can get Guidance for Guides, which is the, the free quest available in the Crown Store, and that will kind of point you in the right direction to start the event. During this period, you will have a chance to receive Daedric War Spoil reward boxes from doing things like finishing the event introductory quest, slaying Delve world bosses, slaying monsters, opening treasure chests, safe boxes, lootable objects, Sigic portals, thieves' troves, and harvest nodes, closing abyssal geysers, and slaying bosses within the halls of fabrication. Also during this event, uh, you will get uh, be able to open the Daedric Spoils reward box and have a chance to receive the following items. The Everglome Champion Weapon Style Pages and the Gloam Griffin Fledgling Pet Rune Box. Also, you'll have kind of the normal rewards that you've come to expect over the last several years with all the events like crafting materials, style pages from the individual zones themselves, Overland set items, valuables you can sell for gold, treasure uh, treasure maps from those individual zones that we are in, like Vardenfell, Clockwork City, and Somerset, transmute crystals, motif chapters from Vardenfell, Clockwork City, and Somerset, the Snowhawk Mage armor uh, armor style page, the Slagtown Driver skin rune box, the Bait Kit rune box, and the Verminous Fabricant Pet Fragment. Also during this event. Every day when you turn in your first daily quest in Bardenfell, Clockwork City, or Somerset, you can get a glorious War Spoil reward box instead. These give you a greater chance to get rarer items such as the unique styles or pets from those boxes. Of course, that's only the first time you turn in your first daily from those three zones. After that, you'll just get the normal reward boxes. Throughout the event, you also can receive the following bonus rewards. Double non-event reward boxes for zone daily and trial weekly quest. Increased rewards from harvest nodes, not including fishing holes or heavy sacks. World delve and trial bosses drop additional loot when defeated. And Vardenfell and Clockwork City public dungeons and world bosses have a chance to drop the Doctrine Ordinate outfit style. And the final boss in both Asylum Sanctorum and Halls of Fabrication have a guaranteed chance to drop the Doctrine Ordinate Outfit Style page, and those will, will be tradable. Also, we will have event tickets during this, so during the event itself, you can earn up to two event tickets each day by completing uh, the following activities. One ticket from turning in your first Vardenfell or Clockwork City Daily Quest, and one ticket from turning in your, Som uh, your Somerset Daily Quest. This means you can get up to 26 tickets total. Be sure that you have done your Morrowind Ashlander dailies or have unlocked the uh, option to do them by doing the Ancestral Ties quest line and also the Black Feather Court dailies available in Clockwork City. You have to do the two Delve quests, the Halls of Regulation and the Shadow Cleft to unlock those Delve dailies. Throughout the event, the event vendor will be here and have all three Soul Flyer Illusion pet fragments including the Hollowed Hourglass Basin. Uh, the Dragon Scroll and the Kavach Incense. Also, the first fragment of the Scales of Alcatosh skin will be available. Also, the Everglow Champion Weapon Style pages, the Gloam Griffin uh, Fledgling Pet, and the Group Repair Kits will be available from the event vendor as well. This is your first opportunity to begin collecting the brand new collectibles you know, for this year, so make sure that you hop in and start playing and get all the things that you need uh, to start, you know, doing the pet, the skin, all that good stuff that's going to be coming this year within the Elder Scrolls Online. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.